So welcome back to Yoshi's Island Free, everybody. Yoshi's Island Free, it's Super Mario Advance Free, Yoshi's Island. There have been several Yoshi's Island games, but none of them have been called Yoshi's Island Free. Yoshi! Hey, Flopsy! How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Just in time for the final Yoshi's Island stream, where I've, I've completed, I believe, we've beaten the game, and I completed the first three secret levels. We're gonna do secret four, five, and six, and then we're gonna go for the extra levels. It's gonna be... <laughs> it's gonna be fun. I, uh, I have not played the secret levels before, I also have not played the final extra level before, so... A lot of this is gonna be blind. Yeesh! Hey, Marty! Welcome! This is big brain time. <laughs> I'm gonna need big brain time for this, for sure. You're not at work today, Flopsy. That's awesome. Well, glad you could join in. Alright. So I learned... I originally thought you had to get 100% on every level in the world to get the extra level, but as it turns out, because the secret levels exist, we, that's not the case. So as long as we get a high enough score in this secret four, we should unlock extra four. Let's go. Secret 4. Fight toadies with toadies. Okay. Oh, this is an interesting looking place. This is like where we fought Hook Bill the Koopa. Okay, interesting. Uh oh. It's okay, folks. Professional streamer here. <laughs> Oh, that was your fan. Ugh. Man, it's been a while since I've played Yoshi's Island, so I'm out of practice. And I got greasy thumbs. This is not good. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my gosh, a spinning log. You saved me. <laughs> you saved my again. <laughs> oh, boy. There we go. Okay, I kind of like this level this far, using the various things as platforms. Yeah, I can definitely get down for this level. Oh, okay. Well, that's a, that's a bit of a shame. <laughs> Boink! <laughs> oh, no, that's not good. That's not good. Okay, thank goodness. Yeesh! A boink! I want to see what's up here. There's got to be something good up here. <laughs> it's a fact of both video games and life that the most rewarding things are in the most difficult places. Whick! Yeah, I knew there would be one of those secrets here. Oh boy, I definitely need another 1-up. <laughs> I only have like 180. That's- it's weird being in a cave without the cave music. Oh, no. That's checkmate. <laughs> Son of a blank. Yep, pretty much. I don't, okay, we gotta break 200 lives. We won't, because I'm probably gonna lose 100 lives on the extra levels alone. Oh, man. <laughs> this is a fun level. I like this level. This is, like, a good kind of challenge. Oh, no, not the balloons. I hate the balloons. They were on that terrible 4-free level. Yeah, thank goodness for checkpoints. Yoink! Oh, I see what I have to do. Oh, I love this. This is a kind of a puzzle-based level, but also platforming. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I, I, this is my favorite of the secret levels thus far. I mean, granted, I haven't really liked the secret levels thus far, but... Oh, this is, this is like a good kind of difficulty, yes. Hi, Prince Dusk. Did I get 100% of the main levels off-stream? No, I'm not 100%ing this game. <laughs> I, 
I feel like I could 100% most of the main levels, but I really don't want to 100% the very long game. Because I ain't, I ain't, I ain't spending hours of my day trying to repeat the same part of the level over and over again just to land on the chomp rock perfectly. That's not happening. But it's okay. I can get on all of the levels in the game without needing 100%. Because secret levels. Am I chicken? No, I just value my time. Plus, I can get all of the levels. Anyways. If the secret levels did not allow me to unlock the extra levels, then maybe I would make an attempt, but no. No thank you. I'm at the point in my life where I only want to attempt video game challenges that sound fun to me, and that does not sound particularly fun. Oh, I see what we gotta do. Man, this is like some Kaizo Mario ROM hack. Tricks that we need to do- No! <laughs> yep, fuzzies are back. <laughs> Gotta avoid them, though. I'm not exactly in favor of hallucinogens. <laughs> okay, fuzzies. It's also weird how fuzzies look vastly different in this game compared to other Mario games. No! Oh, that's not good. I was able to get through that while hallucinating, but not when I wasn't. Yoshi, your buttered shoes do not... Oh, I hate the camera, too. I'm not sure why this level is called Fight Toadies with Toadies. There haven't been any Toadies on this level yet. <laughs> Although, this is kind of a long level. That's the third checkpoint. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why auto-scroller? Oh, this is a fast boy auto scroller. No! Yikes! There aren't toadies on any level, are there? No, there are some levels where, like, if you lose Baby Mario, a toady will pick him up and try to fly away with him. And I don't mean, like, the game over, I mean the pink toadies. The ones that, like, make it harder for you to get Baby Mario back! <laughs> Okay, I... You know what? I can I can cope with a fast auto-scroller. You tried to kill me with that sound effect, didn't you? Also, for those of you who are wondering, like, why do you keep getting jump-scared by that sound effect? It's not that loud. Understand that it is 20 decibels louder for me than it is for you guys. Or not 20, 10. All of my Twitch sound effects are 10 decibels louder for me than they are for you. Oh yeah, it is kind of like the airships from Super Mario Bros. 3. That's actually really cool. Nice little homage. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. You know what? That was a fun level. I really like that one. I shudder to think what getting 100% on that level would look like, but wow, that was a really fun level. And hey, 88% ain't bad. Extra 4 opened. Yay, we don't have to go back to 4 3. Roulette, get 1 ups. Oh, I can, I can gamble like 100 lives here. I'll gamble five. I'm gonna lose them all, though. Never mind. I can't. Okay, I got them all back. You've never seen the bonus or extra levels. Ooh! Well, this'll be blind for you, too. I have... I have... 
gotten... Playing this casually, I have gotten the first five extra levels, but I've never gotten the extra six. So, the first five extra levels I will have played before. I haven't necessarily beaten all of them, <laughs> but I have played them. The secret levels, no. Never seen them. Alright, let's go to level five. Secret five. Items are fun! They sure are. Bloom. Yeah, take that. Oh, wait, um... Whoops. That's okay. I can always... What?! Well, um, I have to say that might be the lowest score I've ever gotten on a test. Okay, well, we gotta play that one again, because what? <laughs> okay, I guess this hole's really easy unless you're trying to get the extra stuff. Wonderful. Okay. Yeah, apparently skipping that question mark balloon really, uh... Really missed out on a lot of content. Okay, this is an interesting level. I would have gone down the pipe, but then I saw the, like, the end level stuff, and I'm like, wait, what? And I wanted to see if, it, like, that actually was something different, and it was the end, and I just kind of jumped through it on instinct. How the heck are you supposed to get up here? Aha! Okay, that's not it either. Hmm. The mold, the mold brewers don't even let us jump up higher. Hmm. Yeah, we we at least need a passing grade. Actually, not even necessarily a passing grade, but we do need to unlock the extra level. Huh? Do we have to damage boost up there? Oh, I... Uh, oh, wow. Okay. We gotta, we gotta get more eggs, then. Oh no, is that all I have? Hmm. This is an interesting level. Why am I so limited on my items? I thought I had a decent amount. Okay... That's literally making a sad face at me. Alright, we'll come back there later. I want to check out the second part of the level. If there is anything. So you can go down the pipe. Oh. We get the dungeon music here. What? Pipe Labyrinth. Does this level... Is, the level is called Items Are Fun. Is that assuming that you're going to bring a bunch of items on the level that you'll have to use? Hey there, camera. Can I uh, see what's below me? Well, this is not what I was expecting Secret 5 to be, but we're going to make the most of it. Wow. Wait, what the heck? Why is this guy following me around? I am not your mother, sir. the 
ducks? What? Duck? These guys are eggs that act like boomerangs? What? I have literally never- I never knew you could do that. Oh, I see what we gotta do. This level is crazy. Oh man, can you imagine trying to get 100% on this level? Okay, that- you ground pounded a little more than I wanted you to, Yoshi. Uh, yeah, I- well, I've seen- I've seen the duck guys on the main levels, but I didn't think you could get them on your side. Like, I always tried eating them and jumping on them, and nothing ever happened. Okay, well, I gotta try this out now. Oh my gosh! You bounce on the big duck and you can grab the two smaller ducks. I never knew that. I've played this game several times, only beaten it this playthrough, but wow, I never knew that. That's crazy. That's weird. Pipes there are just for decoration, eh? That's, that is 100% something hidden in that pipe. Do I have a fight? I do! What's the score? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you really want to know, Marty, my current score is 23 points, which is not very good. Aha! Wait! What?! Well, thank goodness that didn't just kill me. Oh, what do you mean I have to melt that block again? So this level is literally you have to go in with, like, a bunch of every type of item or else you're just hosed. Oh, never mind. Oh, I do not like the ice blocks on this! There we go. That's what I tried to do last time. Oh, no. uh, Yoshi, stop buttering your shoes! Ugh. There are no checkpoints on this level. Yeah, whenever Yoshi goes through a pipe, he... <laughs> All of this for extra five, which, by the way, might be the toughest level in the entire game. Okay. I have a watermelon, though. Gonna be. There's probably like a bouncy ball hidden up here somewhere. Which is really dumb. It's like, do you literally just have to try over and over again until you magically get exactly where the trampoline is? Because if so, that's rather irritating. Yes, Prince Dusk, that is the one you're thinking of. Extra five. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, yeah. It's... Let's try the flopsy idea. Duck eggs to the rescue! Maybe. Well, that was... Wow. These little red noses are getting in my way. Okay, seriously? Is there anything here? Is there s Oh my gosh! The duck actually died. Okay, seriously, where is the Dane trampoline? Is there even a trampoline, or am I just on a wild goose chase? Quite literally. Oh, forget it, I'm not doing this. I'm going back to the pipe maids. Whoa, watch it there. This is a family-friendly stream. Oh no, now, now the mom is like, ah! Oh! Where did they go? Where did my babies go? Yes, yeah, sorry about that, Mom. Alright, I'm gonna just try... these guys for the whole level. Oh my, the Mom just suicided because I stole her baby. That's sad. And then I just killed the baby. Oh, these things happen, Mom. Sorry. Ends the brakes. Oh, boy. Aha! That's how you get the flower. You like the dungeon music, Marty? The dark version of the Song of Storms. Yeah, I was looking for one of these balls up there in in that first room. This wasn't coming. Let's try. Why is there just this room? This room doesn't seem to serve any real purpose. Outside of just, it does admittedly look really cool. Alright. Yoshi has a bad habit of just eating the watermelons as he's traveling through pipes, so... Yeah, we put we put the Yoshi's Island uh, castle and fortress music in Dracula's castle in Project M. No, most people like Project M because they're like, oh man, it's like super competitive, like melee. I liked Project M because you could put in custom music. That is why I like Project M. <laughs> I don't get why sometimes the the little penguin guys just kill themselves. That is not the answer. Oh yeah, and you can fight on the water temple in that. Those were good times. No! 
Are you serious? Break the ice. Do I have another fire watermelon? No. Wow, I've got bad power-ups. Well, I kind of want that flower. Man, it is very difficult to get any points on this level. Thankfully, I don't need that high. Thankfully, I don't need that high of a score to unlock extra five because I I think the only level the only level I think I didn't the only two levels I think I did not 100% in this world were the blizzard level and then shifting platforms ahead. <laughs> PlayStation battles all PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale. Yeah, Sony Smash Bros. I mean, that game was definitely nowhere near as good as regular Super Smash Bros., but it was fun. A very... I like how you, like, basically needed the final smashes in order to defeat people. It, it set it apart from Smash Bros. a little bit that way. We only have two ducks left. Or two penguins, whatever the heck these things are. We only have three Chonky Boys left. Wait, what? <laughs> I just jumped through that warp pipe. But not in the way you would think. That warp pipe is apparently only one block tall, and then you can go over it. Don't ask how we can warp all the way up to the new area. <laughs> you do not need your own items on- Okay, that's good to know. I mean, it would definitely be unique if they had a bubble in the game that you needed items for. Doggone, I hate how precise these jumps need to be. Yoshi has rocks in his pockets and butter on his shoes. Okay, thank you. I'm, <laughs> these little chonky boys are just dropping off one by one. So I can't keep this up forever. Sonic, welcome! Welcome to the pain of Secret 5 in Yoshi's Island. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> nice Sonic emotes. Oh no. Oh no. Oh yes! <laughs> this level is huge. I kind of thought it would be. Um, I really hope there's a checkpoint on this level. Something tells me that there's not, but I really hope there's- Oh! No! I hate ice blocks! <laughs> oh, no. It's gonna take me an hour to get for this level, isn't it? Alright. I have a new pl I have a new idea. I'm not gonna bother getting all of this extra stuff. I'm literally just gonna see if I can go through the level. And I don't mean, like, what I did the first time. I, like, I want to explore m pretty much the entire level. Womp 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 womp, that's Artie. Yee 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 Apparently I paused at the instant I got hit. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, yeah. I'm just gonna go through the level, see what's there. I'm... I'm getting very sick of these stupid ice blocks. They are not fun. That's a, such a sh that's such a shame, because Secret 4 was super good. Very well done. This one... I mean, it's, it's only unique, and I think that's what they were trying to do with these secret levels. They were trying to make some unique levels, which, hey, good for them. But also, um... Man, this, uh... This level's quite the thing. Okay, I'll get, I'll get this guy. This guy's fun and easy. Boomerang. I use the boomerang fish. Hey, Hunter! Hey, Liam! Hope you two are doing well. This is one of these classic GBA games. Actually, it's one... I'm sorry. People are gonna hate me for saying that. This is one of those classic Super Nintendo games, and it definitely did not get a Game Boy Advance Pro. I am definitely not playing the advanced Game Boy Advance version of it. Alright. Let's try something new here. 
try a little something new. Like, if we hit the switch here... That didn't even lead me to any red coins. Huh. What was the point of that, then? I don't... <laughs> this level seems unnecessarily large. Yeah, I'm really glad I learned about the boomerang eggs. How did I not know about that? Like, I've even watched speedruns of this game. They never use them. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're right, Marty. We don't have a Winnie the Pooh sound alert. You know why? It's probably because I just quote Winnie the Pooh quotes naturally on my own a lot. <laughs> oh, stuff and fluff. <laughs> Although, we, we definitely should have at least one Winnie the Pooh emote. But we gotta think of which one it should be. <laughs> should it be for the TV show? <laughs> oh. Marty, you and I will have to brainstorm that later. I hate the ice blocks. <laughs> oh no! Ice blocks curse you! <laughs> it's so annoying because you have to redo all of this every time you accidentally die. You also have to do it when you purposefully die, too. Or when you... Yeah, the platforming in that upper room is so precise, and if you make one mistake, you have to redo, like, a minute worth of stuff. It's just a little annoying. You work with a guy named Chris Robin. Nice. There we go. Okay, that's not actually... No! Wait, what am I doing? I said I was going to purposefully avoid that. No! Ah! Stop eating my hovers. <laughs> I mean, I know, it's World 5, it's the ice world, it's supposed to have ice blocks, but... That doesn't, that doesn't make it fun. How's the score looking at this stage? Um, very, very bad. Actually, 32 points is more than I thought, but almost all of that is coming from the, uh... That is such a badly designed jump! You basically just... It's basically a coin flip, whether you actually make it in there or not. Like, ice physics alone are bad enough, but Yoshi just naturally has ice physics on him. So it's like, twice as bad. Weak! Oh, Bavo, where have my honey crunch bars gone? What's up, Nintendo Addict? Here to join in the pain? Okay. Oh wait, we don't have a choice. No, no! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Yes! Oh, yes! Praise the Lord, he's a god of second chances! Oh wait, no, we don't have to do that. Oh, I'm stupid. <laughs> well, we got the flower anyways. You know what the exciting thing about winning? It's when you win. I love that feeling. Yeah. The bone of the secret and... No! Oh, no, oh, the checkpoint! <laughs> no! Okay, thank goodness I can go back. <laughs> Nobody accidentally misses the checkpoint like Gaston. <laughs> I'm not the toughest guy, you know. That would be Arthur. Um... You know what? We got some one-ups. We needed that. And we got the checkpoint. We also needed that. <laughs> Alright. I'm glad that Watermelon Siege just immediately destroys Steel Spikes. I don't think that's how it works in real life, but... I'll take it! <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure Gaston says that in the movie. <laughs> or in the video game adaption of the movie. Was there a Beauty and the Beast video game adaption? 
There probably was. I mean, it was one of the hit Disney movies. We back now? Oh my gosh, thank goodness. <laughs> nice try, China. But you can't stop Winnie the Pooh <laughs> fat, fat and warm. <laughs> yeah! Okay, cool. It looks like we're back now. Yay! Alright. I paused as soon as OBS was like, Oh, by the way, uh, internet doesn't work. Oh boy. I don't like the look of this. We use our boomerang eggs to, uh... Just slowly descend. Oh my gosh, I know where we are. We're back in that first room. We're back in the first room. So we've come full circle now. Okay, that's kind of clever. I kind of wish, though, that they did, the first room didn't just taintalize you. Because it, it, the first room made it look like, oh, you can get the stuff here in the first room without needing to go to the next one. Okay, what's our score like now? 56 points. That is still really bad. But that might be enough to unlock extra five? Maybe? <laughs> that is true, Sonic. I am in America. Best country in the world. Well, <laughs> I think so. Oh, we get an extra door. That room is the OCD versus nightmare. Yes. Yes, it is. It is a nightmare if you are OCD because you got to destroy all of the grass. Oh, that's a lot of bandits. Wait, is there any purpose to this room other than making them, making you lose? Wow, that is, um... <laughs> that's right, you do have a tattoo of the flag, don't you? I do not have any tattoos myself, but I don't have it, the boomerangs anymore. All of, oh wait, I do have I have one. I have one boomerang left. The others all just pieced out of there. Okay, well, hmm. <laughs> Land of the free. But for how much longer? Alright. Let's see if that was enough to get us extra five. We only found two flowers. And one of them was the one I busted my butt to get, too. The bandits were probably hiding goodies. Oh, I probably should have killed them all. Whoops. Nope, that wasn't enough. Well, hmm. Why? What's up? <laughs> Been a while, man. How are you doing? Nice to see you here. Oh boy. Do I play do I play Secret 5 again? <laughs> or do I replay some of the other levels? What is what was my overall score again? Because I need to get to a score of 800 in order to unlock extra 5. I only need 13 more points. Okay. I can do that. We're going back to shifting platforms ahead. Easy points in Secret 5? You you think that was easy? <laughs> no. No, we're going to shifting platforms ahead. I actually really like this level. This was one of the ones I actually was debating. Uh, just going back and 100 percent for fun. Oh, no worries, Fly. It looks like you're, uh, you're pretty busy right now with a lot of stuff. But yeah, I'm, re I'm ready to continue our KH1 stream uh, race. Pretty much whenever. I'm busy Monday, Wednesday, and Tuesday? But the other day should be fairly open. Oh, wait. Wait, I thought... Oh, no. Oh, no, it was the Goonies. It was the Goonies! <laughs> I'm like, I saw the hovering question mark balloon down there. It must be safe. Nope. <laughs> it was just common enemies. Oh, yeah. Work is crazy for me, too. I went, I went from being just the random guy who does scripting to basically a manager in the span of about a year. So, yeah, fun. Not really, but my job looks very different from how it did last year. <laughs> I 
All right, see you, Marty. Thanks for joining in. All right, I kind of need some eggs. Dog on it. You know, no, no, no. You know what? You know what? Before we do anything else, because we're still at the beginning of the level, we gotta grind up on some items. We really need to grind up on some items. <laughs> Fly! Thank you so much for the sub! Really appreciate it. Enjoy your gold banana. <laughs> Oh, no, not even that! Sonic, thank you for gifting the sub to fly! All it said was that it- oh. Well, thank you very much for your generosity, Sonic. What a guy. Now Fly gets the amazing putt-putt emote of him smiling after drinking too many milkshakes. <laughs> it's what everybody dreams of getting! Uh-oh. Kamek is around- doggone it, it's Kamek. <laughs> Okay, what we need? <laughs> we need some star power upgrades, maybe a watermelon, and ideally a full egg refill would be nice as well. <laughs> yeah, the plus 20 stars are definitely good. If you get a toady, always exit. Why? I'll take a full egg refill. That's actually pretty, pretty nice. No, I, I want the full egg refill. Yeah. Is a to is a t is the toady like the black spot for pirates where you get a toady and it's like the next one will be Kamek. You usually hit Kamek immediately after. Interesting. Maybe it's like Minesweeper, where anytime you get a toady, there's a Kamek in an adjacent spot. Yeah, maybe? That's what- that's what I'm Oh, oh, it's not guaranteed, but it's something that you are doing. Yes? Well, that is... That is correct. Well, hey, there was that time I got, like, Kamek on my first try, like, eight times in a row. Okay, that should be good. That should be good. We got a lot of stuff to get through. Alright, back to shifting platforms ahead. We're gonna do this. We're going to we're going to get the score we need to get extra five. We are getting the extra levels. I don't care what anybody says. Oh no! Get back here! No, you left my train left without me. <laughs> get back here! All right. What the heck? I swear he hit that. Does it have to be, like, on screen for it to count? It's not my fault the camera in this game is really, really bad. I think the camera's only bad in the GBA port, to be fair. I'm pretty sure that in the SNES version you can actually manu maneuver the camera pretty easily. No! No, no, no! No, no, no! You're not killing me! <laughs> no. <laughs> I am not going back to- I've played Secret 5 twice now! Granted, the first time I beat it in about 10 seconds. I like this level better. No! Goonie, save me! Goonie, save me! Goonie, save me? Goonie, save me? Goonie, save me! <laughs> Oh yeah, Secret 5 is the easiest to low percent, but we need a high score. And I hate that level. Too, ma too many ice blocks. Whee! Okay. <laughs> I know- I know Secret 5 has the most room for improvement. I am aware of that. But I hate that level. <laughs> this level is a lot more fun for me. If I can't 100% this level, I will go back to Secret 5, alright? I, I make a, a solemn arty promise to you. 
If we cannot get a good enough score on this level that we can unlock extra five, I will go back to secret five. Nope. It's ice slash sky world. Okay. Push you off a cliff. There we go. Plus, we only have like a score of 77 on this level, so I think there is room for improvement. Well, not I think. There is absolutely room for improvement. There we go. I don't like the physics you get on some of these platforms where, you, depending on where they're going when you jump off them, you get go to a different height. <laughs> okay, there's now an invisible floor. <laughs> Even though this is supposed to be a giant, one giant room. The floor beneath me is, uh, quite astounding. Oh, wait! Oh! I spy with my little eye. A way to get into that warp pipe. Ah! Yes! Thank you, Goonies. Okay. That is definitely something that I missed on my first time playing this level. I also remember that I did not have max star power on the, at the end of this level when I beat it the first time because I'm like, well, I don't, I wouldn't have enough good enough score anyway, so I didn't use a power up. Ah, yes, excellent Smithers. There are no eggs on this level, though. Like, oh my goodness. I suppose I could eat the Goonies, but they're they're so nice. <laughs> They've saved my life so many times. Alright, Goonie. Fly me back home. Nope, we have mysterious death plane again. No, the platform, come back! Come back, I need your help! Goonie, save me. Goonie, save me. No, Goonie, save me! Ah, <laughs> oh, dog. Butter shoes are really getting on my nerves. No, I didn't want to eat Goonie. All right, fine. We'll go back to extra five. I'm sorry, not extra five, secret five. I have played Yoshi's Story. It was a fun game. While well, it lasted. That was a really short game, by the way. Yoshi's Story, you could beat it in, like, an hour. You couldn't beat every level within that time, but... I mean, there's the VOD of me on YouTube playing that level, so you can watch that whenever you want. 6-7 wasn't too bad. I died a couple times on it, but not that much. World 6 was not as difficult as I thought it was going to be, honestly. There we go. With a score of 50%, we can improve it. be more in this pipe maze that I can do. Because I feel like there are entire rooms that I must have I must have just missed them entirely. Because again, we only got 
I know there was a flower in that bandit room that I must have missed. Should have killed all the bandits, but oh well. <laughs> I always come back. <laughs> Secret vibe in a nutshell. Yeah, that's that's very true. Okay, there we go. 6-7 is probably your favorite level in the game. Interesting. Um, I wonder what my favorite level is. Um, I... Oh, I know. My favorite level is Hookville the Koopa's Castle. That level is really good. I also do love the final level. With the four different doors. It's very unique. Alright. Back here in the awful ice... <laughs> ice hell. Eesh. There must be something here that I'm missing. So that pipe takes us to the new area. Duck on it! You can't keep dying on me, you ducks! Alright. <laughs> Sonic, your favorite level is this one, then, because it's the... I freaking hate the ice blocks! Aha! The only game I like ice... No, 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 okay. There are two games that I like ice physics in. The first is Ultimate Chicken Horse, because it can actually genuinely help you out in that game and let you take cool shortcuts. And the other game was the original Rayman, because Allegro Presto had you, like, doing crazy things on the because of ice physics, and it was actually fun because of it. You could go really fast as a result. Oh, no. You get... Stupid penguin. I'm gonna eat you while going through the pipe. <laughs> yeah, if, if you're looking for classic Nintendo games to play, Yoshi's Island is definitely one of them. Because I know you're doing the retro games, which is really cool. Have I played any of the extra levels yet? Nope! I am saving all the extra levels until after I've beaten all the secret levels. I have played through five of them, though. It just did casually. How is score doing? It's 45 points. But with a star power up, it'll be 55. So if we went to the exit right now, then we'd be in good shape. But again, I think we need an extra, like, 17 points overall in order to... There is totally something above this gate. I bet you there's something above that gate where you're supposed to, like, do a really precise jump to get through it. Oh yeah, Link to the Past has really bad ice physics. Again, I'm a firm believer. Most games have pretty bad ice physics. Ice physics is very, very rarely fun. Which is why the few games that actually do have good ice physics really stand out to me. Here's the thing, though. I do not care whatsoever about getting a good score on the extra levels. I'm just trying to beat him. Whereas for this level, I have to find a bunch of stuff. Oh wait, we got we actually got up there. We did we did get up there. Come on, let me up there. Wait. I thought I went through the locked door. Oh my god. You know what? If I don't have to do that stupid... 
stupid ice block puzzle again, then I actually could just go back and go for the locked door. Oh, how lovely. Okay, let's go for this door, beat up the bandits. Okay, you know what? I'm not even worried about extra five. You know, you, you know what extra level I'm worried about? Extra two. Extra two is the extra level that fills me with the most dread. That or extra six, because I have no idea what is coming for that one. That's weird. Some of them drop red coins for no reason. Cool! I suppose I never I could just choose to die and get, go back to the checkpoint, which is near where the locked door is. Oh, yay. Just what I needed. A delicious watermelon. This is, this is gonna be great. Oh boy, I made it onto these platforms at last. But there's no point in Like, why are those platforms even there? If those platforms weren't there, then, like, you wouldn't even think twice about that room. Do we have 68 points? I think that would be enough. But nah, I'm going back to that locked door. We're going back to the locked door. I want to see what's in there, and we can get a better score. No, extra two is awful because you literally have to do the entire level absolutely, like, pixel and frame perfectly, and if you screw up even the tiniest little bit, you start the entire thing over again. It's awful. You guys will see it when we, when we go there. It was one of those levels where I'm just like, I'm not even going to try this. Okay, we can skip this area now, thankfully. Just go straight down this pipe. Ah, that's right. You have to go back for the entire level in order to reach the locked door. Another checkpoint, eh? Well, at least we got a second one. But this fills me with dread for what's to come. What's the catch? There's always a catch. Is this just where all the red coins are? Okay. There we go. Still did not get 100%, but that's fine. We got enough. Do 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 do. Cool. We got to see. C's get degrees, you know. Extra five opened at last. <sighs> no catch, just money. That seemed weird. Alright. Oh, we're off to Secret Six then, folks. And we don't even need that good of a score, because the only World 8 level we didn't 100%. With Secret Six, Endless, endless World of Yoshis. Oh. Barf on a piece of rye bread. Why is it an auto-scroller? Is 
Is it called Endless World of Yoshis because you're going to lose an endless amount of Yoshis' lives on this level? Oh, we're getting the obscure enemies in here. Also, I thought this was a level in Yoshi's Island DS. Yeah. Okay. Genuine question. Is there anybody out there that actually li- That was weird. That completely ate all of my inputs. Yeah, no. Genuine question. Is there any person out there who genuinely likes auto-scrollers? I have not met anybody who does. Now, honestly, I'm... As far as side scores go, I would take fast uh, auto scrollers over slow auto scrollers. The reason being, slow auto scrollers just force you to stay on the same part of the level for like way too long. I am okay with auto scrollers where it's like, hey, you have to go at least this fast. But I hate it how it's like, why can't I go faster than what the level wants me to? Why can't like I get if like this you can't. Like, you have to keep up with the screen moving behind you, but why do I also, like, why am I not able to go farther than what the screen's showing? Let me go at my own pace, man. Not at your pace. Also, it's going to be hard for me to read chat on this level. At least the background is pretty. No, Yoshi, you gotta jump when I tell you to. The Super Mario Bros. free auto-scrollers are good? How? Super Mario Bros. free was the one that had, like, diagonal auto-scrollers. Like, why would you do that? I think I've said it before, like, the only, like, this isn't even a real auto-scroller, the only, like, pseudo-auto-scroller that I actually liked was the Tricky Treasure levels from Rayman Origins, and partly is because you don't have lives in that game, so you can fail as many times as you want. And those levels were short. It ate all of my inputs again! Why can sometimes you just not hover? The stompable pillars scream red coins? Well, it's a good thing I do not care about, like, a super high score on this level. I think if I literally just get to the end of the level with, like, 30 star points, which I have a power-up to do that, then I win. And I get the final extra level. It's also strange that this level is playing the really calming uh, flower garden music. Oh, come on, are you... Get back on my back. You're not hurt. <laughs> You're not hurt! Get in! <laughs> Okay. Ah, thank goodness. At last, a chair! <laughs> Alright, well maybe the auto score is gonna be done. Oh, okay, actually, you know what? The Donkey Kong minecart auto scores, those are kind of fun. I guess I didn't really think of those as auto scores, just because you can't choose how fast you move on this level as well. Bowser's making me feel real welcome here. A spike fall. I have to repeat this every time I fail and have to go back to that checkpoint. Oh! Well, oh, thank you. I guess I don't. <laughs> F 
fire. Stupid fire! <laughs> oh, it's a marching milled sport type of level, eh? Alright, that's... that's okay. We can get through this. Cause I believe we can! Hi! Okay. The check taking the checkpoint might have been a bad idea. Maybe it was a really good idea, actually. Maybe I don't want to have to redo that spike fall every single time I die. Oh, great! A maze of doors! This is a fantastic idea. Whoa! Never seen these guys before. Alright. They exit you at the top of the room? Why would they do that? I'm not going for the doors at the top. Not unless I literally have to. This way I can remember, hey, it's always the top door that I haven't been through yet. Okay. <laughs> That's a funny looking boy, Bill. That looks like a screaming Sam. Oh, we're ac these are actually, like, brand new enemies. Never before seen in any other Yoshi game. Yeah, that was screaming, I'm a red coin. <laughs> I'm a red coin! Can I shoot eggs straight down? Because if so, I would love to hug the wall and just blast those as they get in my way. That's, I'm actually going to see if I can do that. No, no, use the ground pound. Uh, no, I still don't see why the checkpoint is a bad idea. If I see a checkpoint, why wouldn't I take it? Especially if I've just completed a really annoying part of the level. Given the knowledge I had at the time, I think taking the checkpoint was actually quite nice. Now that I have the benefit of hindsight, I can see why it might potentially be more useful to have saved it for later. But at the time, I made the proper decision, I think, given what I, knowledge I had. Alright, let's try this again. Yoshi, you, you whiffed the coin in just a little bit. Yoshi, you whiffed the coin again. Oh, thank, thanks for eating my jumps. I, I appreciate that. That was wonderful. Do, 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 do. Oh, I'm sorry. Who's playing the game? You or me? <laughs> I do what I want. And what do you want me to do? I'm not restarting. Like, at this point, what's done is done. So... I am not restarting the whole level and doing that stupid auto-score part again just so I can save doing the spike fall at once. No, thank you. I will take the spike fall over the auto-score. Now what we just have to do is figure out where the keys are hiding. Also, I do believe that my, uh... Estimate of the level is spot on. It's called Endless World of Yoshis because you'll be <laughs> you'll be dying an endless amount of times. Okay, so the left the leftmost and rightmost door at the top both just take you back here. Whew. Okay, you know what? That's actually not so bad. I think I just need. I need to figure out where the, like, which way to be, what place to be in during the spike fall. Oh man, that's annoying. 
The fish and the lava and the fireballs together make for an unsavory combo. Well, I'm not restarting. Spike Fall is not as bad as the auto scroller. <laughs> is this new music? Or is this... Oh, no, wait. I think this plays on the tutorial level. There's something you don't see every day. Oh, wait. Hey, camera, how about not sucking for once in your entire life? Why are they only turning back around at the very last second? They weren't batting the seeds into the end. I... I am disappointed. I knew there was going to be, like, one red coin in the mix of all those. Because that's the, how the game goes. I am not going for that door. Okay. Well, I think we should follow the arrows. Let's follow the arrows with the chomp, uh, with the chomp rock. Do not baseball bat my chomp rock. Do not baseball bat it. Do not. Maybe that's actually what you need him to do. Oh, wait, I think that's actually what you need him to do. Perhaps. So help me if this is a one-way door. Why? Why would you make that a one-way door? There is literally no need to make that a one-way door. You'd just be in a tool if you do that. Alright, well I already know that way leads to, um... The opposite of paradise. How can they hate me when they don't even know me? Only Artie is that sadistic of a level designer. Not exactly the way I wanted it to go, but okay. <laughs> and if that last one was a red coin, so be it. Oh look, it's it's weird big lips. Hey big lips, what you what you doing? I, I need you to blow bubbles over here. Big whips. Big whips, stop being a big tool. Did I? Wait, what? 
Get over here. Come on, get over here. Get over here. This is like the foot holders from Mega Man. They're enemies that you need to do things for you, but they have a mind of- Come on! Those really don't want you up that high, do they? Can somebody explain why sometimes when I jump I can't hover? Forget it. Alright. Now we actually we apparently need baseball boy to launch this. I'm not entirely sure why. Did that really only appear because we pushed a chomp rock over it? Because if so, that's kind of stupid. Oh, hey! A chair! <laughs> cool. Alright, we have a key now. Alright, I'm going over this way from now on. Seems to be a little bit easier. Oh, the Larg just kills you if he spits lava at you. I get, yeah, that makes sense. Like, it actually does make sense. I am not... S you guys are acting like checkpoints or valuable items in RPGs. You're not supposed to save them for later, otherwise you never use them. Now, you're supposed to do that in RPGs for, like, Mega Elixirs, but not for checkpoints in 2D platformer games. Also, since I got that checkpoint, can't I get the other one again? No, wait, no, that's not this game. What game am I thinking of where you can do that? Where, like, you can get one checkpoint, then go back and get a previous checkpoint. No, uh, I don't think it's Mar- Oh, n yeah, maybe it is Mario Maker. I anticipate another spike fall coming. Never mind. Oh, no. Why? Why? Why would you make a level like this? It's a good thing I'm still so close to it. da 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 da, -da. You know what, I'm kind of glad they don't use this tutorial music very much. It's not very good. <laughs> Alright, Sinister Sam, let's get out of the way. I, I kind of want to know that what the name of those red bullet bills are. Because, like, there are Bullet Bill, Bonsai Bill, Bonanza Bill, Torpedo Ted. I kind of want to know what they are. <laughs> They always have little, pippy little names. It's funny. Thanks for unlocking the door there, Barney! <laughs> Homing Henry? I like that. Oh no, he's trying to kill me. I'm gonna wait for it to stop moving first. Oh no. Why? Why would they do that? Is that a cracked seeing though? They're called bullseye bills. That's fun, okay. Are you going to be happy? Or will you be happy if I skip that checkpoint? Should I skip that checkpoint? Huh? 
Should I grab it now, or should I save it until after I beat the level, huh? What do you guys think? Would it, would it just make you all so incredibly happy if I did not grab that checkpoint right here? Will I ever come back here? <laughs> I'd do what I want. Oh, yes, watermelon. Oh wait, why did I think why did I think watermelon would be I'm like, oh thank goodness, watermelon. Just what I needed to get that flower. It's like, um Hardy? <laughs> you feeling okay? I I am, as a matter of fact. I am feeling okay. Wait, ooh. Oh, how nice. A one-up. What? Oh, whoa! What? <laughs> I did not know that the question mark balloons could trigger the one-way gates. Ha ah, ah. ha! Oh, that's clever. I like that. There are some basic mechanics in this game that, like, they're very simple, but they can you can do a lot with them, and I, I really like do like that. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I'm getting that flower. Joink! To my death. Wait. All right, let's try this again. To infinity and beyond. Apparently, beyond infinity was not as far as I thought it was going to be. I'm gonna teach you guys a lesson. I'm just waiting for me to jump down there, and it's like, oh, wait, what? No, there's no platform there anymore. Yay! Yeah, I'm not going for 100% on this level. This looks like it's the end. We're now in a nice little flower garden. There it is. Yoink! We got one flower, everybody! <laughs> That's okay, I'm not going for 100 Wait. Actually, wait, did we get enough of a score to actually unlock the, uh, the new level? I hope so. I didn't think to check. Oh, but yeah, that should be enough. That should be enough. Oh, yeah, we only needed 20 points. Extra six opened! The only extra level I've not seen. All right, well, um... Those secret levels took longer than I thought they were going to. I hope we can get through No, we will. I have nothing to do today. We are getting through all of these extra levels, and we're saving one of the worst for first. Oh, boy. Extra one. Poochie ain't stupid. So first off, that is just a complete and outright blazing lie. Brazen lie. Uh, if there's anything that'll teach you that Poochie is stupid, it's this level. Yeah. So first off, auto score. That sucks. That that alone is like, okay, well that's pretty bad. Oh no. So remember that incredibly stupid dog Poochie? Well, uh, we're gonna have to use him. So he's a um, tiny, kinda slippery moving platform that we need to use on this level to get through all this lava. And yeah. We also need to do precise jumps onto him, and hope that he just cooperates. He's not stupid, he's just excitable. No, that- look- look at that. Look at that ton. That is- that is the face of a stupid dog. Also, I believe- I truly believe that Poochie is a very stupid mechanic. Oh look, we die. Because the screen says it is so. That's the other thing. Auto scrolls just don't make sense. It's like, oh, you got crushed between like a platform and the side of the screen. Yeah. 
but would you would you believe me if I told you this was like the e one of the easiest of the extra levels? It is extra one after all. Also, if you have the um, misfortune of unlocking this level right after you beat World One and uh, try it before even starting World Two, uh, Poochie is a brand new mechanic you've never seen before. Yeek! Yes. Down here, we turn around. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, thanks. You live with two stupid dogs that don't look like Poochie, but Poochie just has that quintessential dumb dog look, like Odie from Garfield. You know, like in, in media, they have there's that stupid dog look that Poochie's got. But again, it's more Poochie is stupid because his mechanic is incredibly annoying to deal with. Also, fun fact, I've actually managed to 100% this level. I'm not going to try it again, but I was able to do it. Poochie! <laughs> Poochie! <laughs> also, how did we get 200 lives? At least the Pooch is immortal. Well, that is true. Poochie's not the brightest dog, but he can survive walking through lava, so credit where credit is due. We would be in a lot of trouble if he wasn't on this level, but this level only exists because Poochie exists. There's a lot of star points that you get on this level. I hate it when you have to just jump on Poochie as he's moving. Like, come off it. Well, we kinda gotta hope Poochie's down there waiting for us! Thankfully, whenever you turn around, Poochie will turn around and start running in the opposite direction, so you can kind of control him, but still not much fun. Also, I'm pretty sure there are no checkpoints on this level. Welcome to Extra Mayhem. Oh, you stupid bats! Oh no, I remember this part, and it's not fun. Although, if you're not trying to get the red coins... Is that really the last flower on the wall? Oh my gosh. Poochie, no! <laughs> oh, Poochie's fine, he was just taking a lava bath. We actually almost got 100% on that level. I think we missed three red coins. Maybe two. And okay, we didn't have all... Okay, we missed four. I still... 92 points for Poochie Ain't Stupid for the first extra level. I'll take it. Get items by flipping the cards! But don't hit Kamek. I'm gonna lose by doing absolutely nothing. Oh, hey, a fire watermelon. That's nice. You think that was a relaxing level? Actually, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if my old maid or not old maid, my minesweeper theory is correct. I think that might be Kamek. A toady might appear to let you know that Kamek is in one of the nearby ones. I'm gonna see if there's any. Okay, well clearly I'm wrong. All right, 50-50. My original theory is that Kamek is hiding there. No! Oh, I almost got ten lives. That's okay. There we go. That was extra one. Alright. 
This is the level that I'm I'm truly not sure if I'm even going to be able to beat this one. This is this level is just the worst. Oh boy. Here we go. Extra two, hit that switch. Also known as you basically need Tass to do this for you. If at any point you just Yep, I think we've already screwed up, so the level's just impossible, but we'll see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we just we can't win now. But we'll keep trying. Um, well, I don't know how that works, but okay. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. This... this level's awful. I think I hit that switch too early. Gun it, you stupid ball! Yeah, at least if you screw up close to the beginning, and you, there's a chance you can make it back and hit the switch again, but... Like, come off it. Did anybody actually test this level and was like, yes, this level is fun and amazing, and everyone's going to love it? I'm pretty sure literally nobody in the entire world has said that about this level. Now, maybe people have played this level and said, oh, that, that was definitely a good challenge. I personally disagree with it being a good challenge, but... Well, you know, people are different. You like this level? How? Ah, you say stop buttering your shoes! Butter shoes and slippery platforms do not mix well together. Oh wait, we just died. <laughs> they recycled this for the new Super Mario Bros. U Special World? Oh. Never played that version. I played a couple of the new Super Mario Bros. games, but... Eh. I like Mario World better. Alright. Let's not be stupid this time. Can we please get the maximum height? Why is it so freaking difficult to get the maximum height on that? Alright. See what I mean where it's like you literally need to do this level perfectly. Otherwise, you're screwed. You even need to be ridiculously fast with your jumps, too. Like, hovering is pretty much not allowed on this level. There we go. Yeah, like, look at that! How in the absolute world are you supposed to go that happy? Like, how, how can you go faster than that? You basically need a TAS in order to get through that fast enough. Oh, this is not going to be fun. Where did the switch go? Oh, that was weird. At least the switches regrow. If they didn't regrow, then this level would just be irredeemable. Well, it's, it already kind of is, but you know what I mean. Alright.
you literally need to just memorize the entire level. <sighs> I don't know how long this level is. If Nintendo added this to Bleed Bleed, it's very, very short. Like, I might have been close to the end of the level there, but I don't know. Hope you guys like watching the same thing over and over again, because that's what's going to be happening on this level. <sighs> Wait for me! <laughs> the bus keeps leaving without me. Oh my god, I can't believe I landed on that. I also have no idea how you're supposed to grab that flower. Oh look, we die. I'm not comparing this to Mario 3D World, I'm comparing this to the rest of Yoshi's Island. And this level is sadistically difficult in comparison to the rest of Yoshi's Island. <laughs> it's like, oh, Artie, if you've ever played, like, the ROM hacks for Yoshi's Island, this level's a piece of cake. It's like, yeah, I, I haven't, though. Um, what? <laughs> why? <laughs> I mean, I get, I know what you're supposed to do there, but, like, why? <laughs> Again, extra six is the one extra level I have not seen before, so I don't know how difficult that is in comparison to this, but out of the five, out of the five extra levels I've played, I consider this to be the toughest. Oh, look. My internet disconnected again, for literally no reason. You gotta love how my internet always cuts out when I'm streaming, and basically never at any other time. We're back, though. Probably could have played some of this just while it was waiting to reboot, but... Eh. I... That part of the whole might be the most annoying, honestly. Having to deal with wonky physics and wonky physics off of a switch and landing on this ridiculously fast tiny platform. Oh, not fun. That's also not fun. Pure boink! Okay, that is a short level. Still hate it. I also have no idea how you would get that flower that you have to fall down for. Unless it's like you've got to come in with an egg and immediately fire it whilst keeping it max speed. Yeah. There was nothing happy about that rail level. But we're, we're down. We're, we're through with it. Alright. Extra free. This is a level that took me by surprise of how really annoying it is. <laughs> but we're going for it. Extra free. More monkey madness. With an emphasis on the madness. This level is just filled to the brim with monkeys, and, uh, boy, are they annoying. <laughs> We're gonna need these. Okay. 
because eventually we're going to be up over bottomless pits trying to do tricky platforming while they're spinning seeds at us from every direction. Yeah, it's going to be great. Ugh. The extra levels in a nutshell are basically like fun. Did you say fun? This is the extra levels. Who said anything about fun? <laughs> Oh no. Oh my, what, how? I don't think I should have survived there. I'm gonna be perfectly honest. Oh, and I didn't. <laughs> Reject Yoshi, become monkey. No. No. There's a pipe. You're gonna have to be a little more specific than that. I normally love the monkey world, but man, this level will make you hate the monkeys. Because they are just going out of your way to, going out of their way to uh, screw you over. I also hate how they can shoot the seeds at a diagonal. Like, come on. Come on, man. Yeah. Why do the platforms have to be moving in that direction? Oh, that's annoying. I'll get you later, Baby Mario, but there's a red coin. I mean, again, I should just be focusing on beating the level, actually. Again, I don't care about 100%. I really hate it how it is extremely difficult to jump at the edge of a platform. Like, 50% of the time, it'll wait until after you fall off the platform, and then it'll be like, oh, you're gonna just hover. That happens with alarming frequency. Really? happened again. Like, sometimes there's input delay on your jumps, but not always. I wish there was just always input delay, rather than have it be random. No! Freaking Yoshi again! Please jump when I tell you to jump. You are- it is a platforming game. It's not asking for much. I hate that so much. Why did anyone think that was a fun platforming challenge? Why? But nope, I still don't think it's as bad as the last level. Jump when I tell you to freaking jump, Yoshi. Um, wait. What? Unless I'm mistaken, I think I ate the watermelon that the monkey had, but yet after I ate it, he still spat seeds at me using the watermelon that he no longer had. What? 
I freaking hate the platforming in this game. Your platforming's gotta have, like, tight controls. Be really, really nice and easy to control. This, this is not it. Wow, he sniped those seeds from a very long distance away. No, you hit the wrong thing, Yoshi! Doggone it! I said eat the monkey! This hole is even... We haven't even gotten to the hard part of the level, by the way, folks. <laughs> okay, that was stupid. Also, I want to point out that they literally completely changed the AI for the monkeys just for this level. And in, in the rest of the game, they're not supposed to be able to spit seeds at a diagonal. But in this, they do it just because a slight diagonal is exactly what they need in order to make it really annoying. This is what it gets. Because monkeys from snipe can snipe you from places where they're just invisible. Like, oh, you didn't know there was a monkey there? Of course there was a monkey there. What do you mean? Oh, you can't see him? Well, of course you can't see him. I mean, we don't want these levels to be fair, after all. Of course not. This is Yoshi's Island Extra Levels. the monkeys. Wait, that's it? That's it? Are the extra levels all just really short? But, like, stupidly hard? I mean, we didn't pass, but we still beat it. <laughs> we made it for the final exam. We didn't, we didn't, we didn't, like, pass it, but... We still got to the end. I know there... I know there was a flower after the rain goal. I didn't care. I wanted the madness to end. I do not care about my score for these levels. I'm just trying to beat them. Alright, extra four is alongside Poochie Ain't Stupid, the only extra level that I actually managed to beat prior, prior to this in a previous uh, playthrough of the game. So, this one is probably my favorite of the extra levels, because it's, it's legitimately difficult. Extra four, the impossible maze? So this one is tough because it's a puzzle level. Alright. So the puzzle here is we need to find the exit to the maze. There's a pipe up there, but we can't actually go through it. Boy, red eggs are fun. Ah, uh, yeah, the, it, it plays the eerie pre-boss music for the whole level. I'm a fan of that. I like this music. <laughs> the crate respawned in a new area. No, no, I, I went this way last time. No, I went this way last time. I wanted to go the other way. Not talk on it. Stupid water is pushing me away. Wow, can you really not jump past the water? That seems really weird. Yeah, if you, if you don't know that the circle holes are, are doors, then, yeah, you're going to be here for a while. Even then, you still might be here for a while, because it is an impossible maze? It almost lives up to its name. <laughs> Pain! I 
use the crate to jump up here. Oh, how lovely. Oh, it's everybody's favorite transformation. It's the one you can't control. Well, one of them that you can't control. It's the weird mole tank thing. I moved up, and he pushed his butt up here instead of the rest of him. I don't know why that is. No. I almost got screwed over just because of how absolutely garbage the controls are. Like, I was pushing left, and he's like, go back down? Like, there's literally no rhyme or reason for those controls. What you have to do is you gotta push the crate and then you can enter through the ones on the wall. I, I really like that puzzle of using the crates to help you through the maze. There are basically no enemies on this level, which is part of the reason I like it. There's very little opportunity for death, it's just a giant puzzle. Which, you know, I like those styles of levels. I didn't used to, but now I do. Ooh, flashing eggs. No. Man, I do not remember the water pushing you around this much. I always thought it was more decorative than anything else. Yeah, that's kind of the main puzzle of the level, Flopsy, is knowing that you can use the crates to access the pipes that are on the wall that are normally out of reach. What's down here? Ooh, red coins. How grand! Spooky boy, we are not here to do that. Uh oh. Well, I'm not getting 100%. <laughs> Just lost the egg that gave me a red coin. I'm still trying to figure out where the exit is. That takes me back to the beginning. Oh boy, we have to use this again. <laughs> I literally made the point the only one of the transformations I actually like is the car. Which is used, like, technically twice because of uh, Secret Free, where it's like the whole gimmick of Secret Free is to use all the transformations, but ugh.
I made a mistake with the crit, the third crate. So that we, we're gonna have to try it again. This is like literally the shortest helicopter ride in the game. There are no enemies and no like extra helicopter transformations you have to go through. I think this might be the way out, with all the arrows pointing to it. Man, what a creepy place to get stuck in, though. We- if I'm- if I only missed one red coin, I'm going to be a little bit ticked off, because I easily could have gotten it if I had just thrown the flashing egg. Did I? Oh my gosh, I could have 100%ed that. <laughs> oh well, that's fine. I could 100% it if I wanted to, but I don't. Alright, we got two extra levels left, and I've, apparently people consider these to be the toughest ones in the game. Extra five. Oh, yeah. Oh, let the nightmare begin. Extra five, Kamek's Revenge. Voted one of the toughest Mario levels ever, actually. And yeah, Kamek's gonna attack us throughout the entire level. Oh boy. Oh, oh yeah, and by the way, folks, this is the easy part of the level. Trust me, it gets much worse. Well, on this episode of I Shouldn't Be Alive... <laughs> if you hit a chomp rock with an egg, does it push it? I don't think it does. I think you literally have to get on it and slowly wheel it off. Yoshi, please jump when I tell you to jump. Don't wait until after you've fallen to be like, oh, hover for a, a frame? Sure thing. Okay, boss. Okay. There we go. His egg supply it. Just respawn for no reason. Oh look, it ate all my hovers. All of them. I don't understand why that happens sometimes. Yoshi! Stop putting butter on the bottom of your shoes. There we go. If you're able to pull it off, it looks really cool. I repeat, this is the easy part of the level. Jeez Louise, do these baseball boys just have unlimited baseballs to throw? Like, come off it! Switch my arch enemy. Yeah, good luck getting 100% on this level with all those fly guys. Can we all just agree that, like, World 5 is the worst? <laughs> At least one of them. Also, hope you grabbed the key in the first room, because if you didn't, then you have officially soft locked yourself. Yep, we're going skiing again, folks, but it's going to be a whole lot nastier this time.
Oh look, we already died. Because, uh, reasons. <laughs> Alright. Back to the checkpoint. So this, one, this one was divided up into three parts. Uh, the bridge is the first part. The skis are the second part. The third part is the worst, by far. Alright, I do believe this is... Yeah, the skiing is pretty fun. Well, maybe it's not the best design, but it is It is definitely an interesting mechanic, but, uh... <laughs> Get ready, because, um... One of the nastiest parts of the game is coming up. Oh, wow! Yeah, so, um, we're in a helicopter. If we at any point get hit by anything, or change out of the helicopter, then uh, we immediately die. And we gotta navigate to the end. Now, if you're trying to get 100% on this, well, <laughs> good, good luck. Don't care about the flower. Like, I was flying as fast as I could to get over here, and I barely made it in time. And I got an extra helicopter power-up. If you want to get all the red coins in that helicopter area, <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I'm not try even going to try to 100% that level. We beat it, though. Yeah, I know, there's the flower that was just lying out in the open for me to get, and I didn't get it. If I had gotten it, I would have died. Because because you enter the helicopter form over a bottomless pit, if you run out of time in the helicopter, you die. Because it'll warp you back to where you started, and then you'll just fall in the bottomless pit. Alright! We have one level left in the entire game, and... Oh boy, I have heard nightmarish things about Extra 6. Never seen it before, never played it before. This is going to be completely 100% blind, so... Let's see what the nightmare is all about. Extra six, ultimate castle challenge. Well, that is promising something. Oh no. You. Looks cool. This could be cool. If, if it's doing like a best of the castle stuff, that, it, this could actually be a fun rubble. But I have a feeling they're going to be abusing instant death everywhere. Oh, hi, you. Because it says Ultimate Castle Challenge, I'm assuming that that's going to mean, uh... This is going to be the toughest level in the game. Give me liberty or give me Shy Guys! I can't tell if that really was the end of the wall or if the camera was just unbelievably bad. Probably both. I am curious to see how much I can get in this level, though. Oh, I can tell which ones th are those are red coins. Like, sometimes I can tell, and sometimes I can't. I mean, thus far, this seems like it's one of the tamer of the extra levels. Well, I was told you could tell the difference, like, all the time, which is not true. Some of the coins you cannot tell. Oh no. Alright. I mean, 
I'll be honest, I've collected a lot of stuff already. So... Maybe this level's not gonna be as bad as people told me? There's a checkpoint. Thus far, this has been the easiest of the extra level. Well, excluding extra four, but that's just because I knew how to do it. Oh, that was a near fade. <laughs> oh, no. That imp So your jump is increased when it's going up, and it's decreased when it's going down. Or, no, that, I think I actually have that backwards, maybe. I can't remember. I think I had that right. Thank goodness we got a checkpoint. But it's not affected on the green platforms. Oh no. Oh, I, I realized too late. <laughs> you know what? We can fix that. If we destroy the thorn with an egg, we should be able to duck in there. Or we can walk off the edge of the platform at the perfect possible time. One or the other. Yikes! Talk on it. Well, I don't think any of those are even red coins. I'm really glad they gave you a checkpoint before this part. If there was no checkpoint before this part, that would be just cruel. With an R. Okay. Alright. Oh, yuck. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I thought I'm like, I won't hit the ceiling if I jump here. I should have walked off and then hovered. That was on, that was on me, folks. My bad. This still seems like it's the best of the extra levels, though. Like, this level seems like it's difficult, but it's a good difficulty. It's not fake difficulty. Which the other extra levels ran into at times. <laughs> that was a near thing. <laughs> ah! No, 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 no! <laughs> I did not want to go for a ride just yet. Oh no, what is up there? Okay. Yeah. I... <laughs> ah! Hey! Hey, buddy! Haven't seen you since Sluggy the Unshaven's Fort. How are you doing? Oh, you're doing not so great. Did I notice it spelled Yoshi there? No, I was too stupid to pick up on that. I was also having my whole life flash before my eyes. A little busy. One of these is going to lead to goodies. Or maybe not. Okay. Yeah, this feels like just a very nice finish to the game. Ah! Oh, free eggs. Yes, please. If the farmer hands out free eggs, well, maybe there's something wrong with them, but... Maybe he just... Maybe they'll just perish too fast, and he's giving them out because he wants to be a good neighbor. What the heck? 
Wait, they're not even on screen. How are they allowed to attack if they're not on screen? Also, that was weird. It was not rendering all of my eggs properly. Okay. This is weird, because the baseball boys on this level, they seem to have bad... Pfft, that one just went crazy. The baseball boys on this level seem to have bad aim. Or they're aiming purposefully for where... I couldn't see those, because the camera sucks! Wow! Okay, I'm missing two flowers and five red coins. That seems about right. Like, if you stand in the middle, the eggs almost entirely with you. It's kind of ridiculous. one final spike. Oh, no! Are you gonna have baseball boys chucking stuff at me during a spike fall? That's weird. The, the baseball boy, like, trigger keeps popping up on me, but then it disappears. What's up with this? I just know they're gonna troll me with some kind of spike down here. Oh, look at the background, it's changing from outer space to now it's like a seaside view. Oh, never mind. Oh no, this is good. I don't trust this for a second. Why does it keep doing the baseball boy trigger? Is this a glitch? Because there does not seem to be any bo baseball boys around here. five red coins somewhere. I probably did. Maybe not. This is weird. What's the catch? The platform rails here are worrying me. I'm afraid I'm gonna be like hit an invisible platform in the water and it's gonna rocket me into these thorns. Oh look, kinda like that. So that's where the level ends. Where are the last free red coins? I also need to make sure that I fill up my star meter, because I now I'm kind of like, I kind of I feel like I could get 100% on this level. Unless I missed some red coins, which is entirely possible. There, okay. No, no, no. don't even need that! Oh my gosh! We 100%ed the final- That was by far the best of the extra levels. That one was actually fun. That was difficult, but fun. That's, that's how the extra levels all should have gone. Tough, but still like a fun challenge. That was- that was magnificent. Like, that's one of my favorite levels in the game, probably. That was- that was really good. 
Wow. All right. Well, we have now experienced every level in Yoshi's Island. Go black, back and replay 6-8. No. <laughs> Sorry, I even got 100% on 6-8. Like, I can't top what I did on that one. I even showed off all four of the different ways. Wow. What are the... Uh... Patient or haste? Wait, there are two control schemes? Oh, you were really... Interesting, I didn't even know about the two different control schemes. That's interesting. Alright, yeah! That... Oh, no. Before we end the stream. I know what I'm gonna do. Choose a game, Mario Brothers! We'll play some Mario Brothers. Because that comes as a bundle in every one of the Super Mario advances. Otherwise, that is Yoshi's Island. That's a fun game. Definitely more difficult than you would think it would be. <laughs> oh, yeah. Phase one. This is, this is a fun little arcade game. Boob! On your... Oh, this this comes on Superstar Saga as well? You got up to phase 50? You got to... Okay, well, um... Baby, oh baby, prepare for disappointment. I am not going to go that high. <laughs> Boom! I don't even need the pal blocks. I mean, the first... The first world is not that difficult. I know pride comes before a great fall, but... I don't remember it being very difficult. Oh! Just turned a lighter shade of blue. Hacha! Yeah, this is this is like just a fun one. Ooh, bonus game. Mario Bros. is one of those games, like original Mario Bros. is one of those games where like I wouldn't pay money for it alone, but the fact that it's like a nice little bonus with another game, I think was a really good move on Nintendo's part. Yeah, the controls are pretty slick. I'm already noticing the controls of this are definitely better than in Yoshi's Island. You're not sliding around everywhere like it's butter. Alright, we're in World 2. Now we have to deal with the crabs. I also like how you can go from left to right. To, like, uh, scroll through the screen. It's like the original Pac-Man. And I do love me some Pac-Man. Uh-oh. Somebody's not too happy! ka -chaw! Phase 6. I can't remember how high I've gotten up in this game. I've definitely made it past World 2. The background here kind of reminds me of the dungeons in Mario Land. Like the Egypt... The, like Arabic palaces, like the doo 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 oh, The dungeons. Yeet! Well, that was an thing. Yeah, I thought he was the last crab. It's like the last of the Mohitians, but... Oh no, Fireball! I don't remember this. I'm also pretty sure the Pow Box don't grow back, so I probably should not have done that. Ooh. New background. Yay! What? I don't remember these things. This seems new to me. I mean, these guys were on the title screen, so... 
clearly they're important to the game, but I, I also don't even remember these in the Brawl stage of Mario Bros. Oh my gosh, they're called Fighter Flies? Okay, that's... that's clever. Nice! Yeah, Yoshi's Island! That, that was a fun game! I'm glad I finally got around to beating it and trying out all the levels, because while, while I will say most of the secret and extra levels were not that fun, a couple of them were. Actually, wait! No, I was about to be like, was it both of the world- was it both of the world six, like, extra stuff that was good? No, it wasn't. Oh no, I died, because I tried to get the rich! I don't even know- I think the coins are just there to increase your score. Uh-oh, fiends- fiends are getting tough now! That fireball's just waiting for me. <laughs> Ooh, another... Oh, no. But ice physics. Still got it, though. Ooh, we got a one-up. That's good. Is that because I got a perfect score? Well, the weather outside is frightful, but kicking Koopas is so delightful. Oh no! Whoa, Fre Freezies, what are you doing in this game? This is an ice climber. Are Freezies power ups? Oh yeah, I do remember this kind of having a Game Boy Advance Link cable multiplayer. Back in the back in the good old days. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, I'm curious. What do the freezies do? Not much, from the looks of it. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, dear! Ah! Freeze, you tried to kill me! I missed a coin, but it's okay. Oh, they make the platforms icy! That, that makes sense. Blocks don't ever grow back, do they? I don't think they do. Uh, <laughs> sure enough, that's exactly what he did. Uh oh. That crab's gonna become blue. No, he's gonna become green. Even better. <laughs> How am I still alive? <laughs> Fighter flies just follow you wherever you go. What? I guess Freezy does not care whatsoever for the Pal Blocks. Ah! This is getting chaotic. Not what you were supposed to do. <laughs> I don't think I'm making it up to phase 50, folks. Wow! That was tough. Phase 13. 
I'm gonna see how high I can go. Probably not that high, but... Here we go! Super Mario! No! I tried. I really did. Ay yay 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 yay! The crabs are the toughest ones by far. The flies can be annoying, but at least they're slow. The crabs are really fast. Oh, sweet! Boom! Okay, th these levels are easier than the one I died on a bunch of times. Wow. Oh, darn it. I was hoping it wouldn't be a crab there. Okay, the green fireballs are... Oh, it's like Mario and Luigi's fireballs in Smash Bros. No, oh, you stupid Freezy! <laughs> I couldn't react in time. I thought I hit the platform. I didn't. Continue. I have one credit. What does that mean? Does that mean I can continue from where I left off, or is it saying, oh no, you're going to have to start all over? Nope, we can continue. I don't know what it meant when it said it cost me a credit, but... I guess I had to continue. Oh my gosh, I killed the fireball with a freezy. That was, that was actually hilarious. Karate kick! My score resets to zero, though. Whoa! Oh, that's interesting. They make everything invisible, eh? Oh, no! At first I thought it was just a glitch in the graphics. No, it was actually making it invisible. Okay, no bonus. That's okay. Ah! That icicle just tried to kill me for no reason. Okay, now we really have to stop the freezies. Take that. F okay, yeah, if there's a fixed number of continue, I'll just go as high as I can. I've never really tried that in this game, and, it and Mario Bros. is fun. Plus, well, I have a little extra time. Ha, stopped him from upgrading! Man. So just... That happens too much. If I had a nickel for every time that happened, I'd have two nickels. I know that's not much, but it is weird that it happened twice. <laughs> These dang power-ups keep getting in the way! What? Take 
take that. <laughs> Fire is indeed hot. This myth is confirmed. Hey, boink! Hello there, son. I hate it when it starts out with a crab second. Because then the crab just gets to wander around and do whatever he wants. Haha! -ha. I jump. Trying, I was trying to go for the pal block. I'm still alive somehow? I thought I... that was my last life. Okay, we can... yeah, sure. Oh, there's another crab. Boom. When is it going to stop being the snowy background? I want a new background. I thought I jumped over him. Man, Freezy's got a big hitbox. Well, I made it to phase 20, so... That was fun. Alright, I think that's where we're gonna call the stream for today. It was a little shorter than most Saturday streams, but not by much. And that was cool, we got through all of Yoshi's Island, we got to experience every level, and we even got to play some Mario Bros, so... Super fun. I will now have to find a new game to play on Saturday streams. I will try to think of that before next week. Am I playing Mario Kart 8 later? Uh, I probably will be. I don't know how long I'll be playing it, but I will I will definitely try to hop in for that. That's always fun. Yeah, so thanks for tuning in, everybody. This is a lively stream. That's always fun. Uh, we will be continuing to play Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days on Monday and Wednesday, so that's always a lot of fun. I will wish you well. Hope you have a great rest of your weekend, and God bless.